In Thunder Bay, Pierre Pollard, the Conservative Party leader, stopped to talk to workers at Thunder Bay Hydraulics. He had an engaged audience of about 30 workers who he spoke to. Here's what he had to say. This is James with Net News Ledger. You like this after he's gone. We're going to build the country back up on common sense, of the common sense of the common people. Uh, and it starts by uh, bringing home lower prices, by axing the carbon tax. Uh, we're going to ax the carbon tax to lower gas, heat, and grocery bills. We're going to cap government spending to balance the budget so we can bring inflation and interest rates back down. And then those mortgages won't cost as much. Uh, we're going to bring home powerful paychecks with lower income tax so hard work pays off again. You know, these days hard work doesn't pay. You earn an extra buck and by the time you get income tax, payroll tax, clawbacks, you keep very little of it. We were just at a, at a grain terminal on the water and they paid out a bonus to their workers at the end of the year and the workers came into the boss's office and said, where did it all go? Before I, before I got any of it, the government took half. So we've got to cut income tax so we reward hard work again in this country. Uh, we also need to create more work. Now, right now, we, our government is blocking our key industries, our resource sector. We have the slowest, second slowest permits in the world, and that prevents us from building our pipelines that you could help supply, uh, digging more mines, harvesting more forestry. It's better for businesses right now to take our money out of Canada and invest there where they can get things done. I want to make this the fastest place to get a building permit in all the OECD so we can dig mines, build pipelines, support our energy sector, and as long as there's oil and gas used, it should come from Canada. It should not be uh, imported from foreign dictatorships. So we want to bring home that money back to this country. And we want homes to bring it to. Our young people and our working class can't afford homes now. This is crazy. It was never like this in Canada. It used to be cheap to have a house. Why? Because we have so much land. We have the second biggest land mass in the world. In fact, we have the fifth biggest land mass per capita on planet Earth. And yet, Vancouver is the third and Toronto the tenth most expensive housing market in the world. Our housing in Canada, depending on where you are, is as much as double what it is in the United States. Even though they have eight times the people to house on a smaller land mass. It doesn't make any sense. But the reason why our housing is so expensive is because of government gatekeepers that block housing construction. It takes seven to ten years to get a building permit. The cost of lawyers, consultants, fees, charges, taxes, delays, all of that is baked into the housing cost. In Toronto, it's an extra 350 grand for every home is just government bureaucracy and taxes. We've got to bring those costs down. And that's why I'm going to say to the big cities, you've got to increase housing and you've got to speed up, lower the cost of permits and free up land so we can build more. Or I'm going to st strip away some federal infrastructure money from those cities. I'm going to require they boost home building permits by 15% per year. I'm going to require that they put high, high density housing around every federally funded transit station. I'm going to sell off 15% of the federal buildings, that's 6,000 buildings to convert into housing and sell off thousands of acres of land for the same purpose. And we're going to support the people who build homes by making sure that we have trade schools. We don't put all of our training and education money into just universities and professions. We need to put them into trades. The people who move stuff, build stuff, and fix stuff are in, are in high demand and short supply. And we're going to treat them fairly. Right now, a CEO can write off the cost of his private jet, but a tradesman who goes from Timmins to Fort Mac to work on, as a pipe fitter, he can't write off any of those expenses. So we're going to bring the tax fairness for traveling trade workers. It allows trades to write off the full accommodation transportation, and food that comes with the travel they do to perform their job. Simple principle, you get to write off the money you spend to earn your income. That's how the tax system is supposed to work. That's how companies do it. That's how you should be able to do it if you decide to travel to do your work. Not that we're telling any of your workers to travel away. We want to keep them here at Thunder Bay. But um, we need to support our trades workers in this country. And we need some common sense to bring safety back to our communities. Crime, chaos, drugs and disorder have raged under Trudeau. We know why. He's brought in catch and release. Catch and release means the same repeat violent offenders who are arrested are released the same day uh, on bail. In Vancouver the same 40 offenders were arrested 6,000 times. That's because they're released again and again and again. Sometimes they're arrested three times in a day. Why not keep them in jail? I'm going to get rid of catch and release 
bring in jail, not bail, for repeat violent offenders, uh, mandatory jail time for gun criminals, and instead of spending all of this money going after law-abiding hunters and farmers with these crazy gun laws, I'm going to I'm going to respect our hunters and farmers and uh, sports shooters and put the money into bolstering our border to keep the illegal drugs and guns out of our country. Now that's how we'll stop crime, not by going after the Thunder Bay hunter, but by going after the gangsters and the gun smugglers. This is common sense, Eric, and that's what we want. Common sense of the common people, united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Thank you very much.